Hello, Trevor Sheridan from AppleAndApps.com here, welcoming you to our iOS 6 complete walkthrough of all the new features on the iPhone. This is the same setup as iOS 5, so we'll speed through that. And now we'll get into what's new in iOS 6, starting off with a brand new settings panel that has all kinds of new settings, beginning with Do Not Disturb, which lets you turn off notifications for a set period of time, and that also can work for blocking calls and you can turn it on manually or have it come on every day at a certain time. In terms of notifications, there's a couple of new features too, but we'll get to that later. Privacy is a big new setting. I mean, there's uh, the ability location services, contacts, calendars, reminders, and photos. It tells you which apps are accessing those different parts of your personal data. So it's a really nice addition by Apple. The other settings are relatively the same, but they've made it a little bit clearer in terms of setup and then there's the social networking additions Facebook is the new entry it's set up similar to Twitter it's just now Facebook and that extends to all iOS apps you get your little uh, agreement and then you can post to Facebook right from notification center we'll show that later you got uh, Facebook push notifications and just you can share different things to Facebook and connect your Facebook accounts to all kinds of apps coming in the future with iOS 6. One new app in iOS 6 is Passbook which lets you uh, set up cards and tickets and stuff but it's going to need app support so that's down the line. What is uh, ready right now though well, in some sense is Apple's brand new Maps app. They've replaced Google with their own built-in Maps which has some of their own data some of Tom Tom's data as you can see in the video right here and just it's all new map inter well no actually the interface is the same it's a new map backend and that counts for the traffic and the different uh, satellite and regular normal views and then there's brand new info cards with over hundred million which uh, connect photos and reviews from Yelp as well as more of a detailed page and then there's the all new 3D mode which is uh, probably the biggest wow factor aspect you simply tap the 3D button in the bottom left corner and then we're going to dive down into downtown Los Angeles to really see the building impact. As you can see the different depths and heights of the buildings. And the interface also lets you spin 360 degrees to see different angles. And this lets you see how the city is laid out that you might be traveling to. Or just simply travel from the comfort of your iOS device. The most useful feature in the maps is the brand new turn-by-turn -turn navigation which has been a long co time coming but Apple's implementation is definitely worth it whether you begin directions right from within the app or ask Siri for directions and you get the usual three route aspect you can see the full list or you can just start route guidance starting route to Apple Store Pasadena head south on North Mountain Trail Siri provides the voice for all the guidance and here you see how you can initiate guidance with Surrey. Show me directions to the nearest Apple store. Getting directions to Apple store. Starting route to Apple store. As you can see, you simply activate Surrey. It takes you into Maps. You simply press the Start button, and you have turn-by-turn -turn navigation. What was the score of the Dodger game yesterday? You can also go to another app while in navigation and then touch to return to navigation. Now let's show a little bit more Surrey. What time is Prometheus playing tonight? Checking for movies matching Prometheus. Okay. In iOS 6, Surrey's been enhanced a little, so as you can see, you can do movies. We asked about a Dodger score earlier, and there's also enhanced restaurant listings. And uh, the Movie Show Times is a really cool addition. And then you can also open apps. Though you can't actually buy movie tickets, you can just view the Movie Show Times. And if you're uh, doing anything with restaurants, you need the Yelp or Open Table app. So keep that in mind. And of course, there's the turn by turn navigation integration and enhanced direction. Show me directions to Barney's only place in town. Rerouting. Starting route to Barney's only place in town. Surrey and Maps are the two biggest parts of iOS 6, and the combination of both is truly amazing. Launch App Store. And by the way, launching apps with Surrey is super quick. Open up Mega Run.
I'll look a phone call and when you get one there's a slide like the camera shortcut on the iPhone lock screen so you can be reminded if you can't take a call or send a quick text message and the keypads even change. Now moving over to FaceTime you can see we're on uh, the AT&T 4G and we can make a call over cellular which is yeah. a nice That's addition working. getting you out of Wi-Fi. But it does work. I'm on 4 or the bogus AT&T 4G. Yeah, the 4G quote yeah. unquote. 4G. Yeah. As mentioned earlier, there's a new uh, shortcut notification center allowing you to tap to tweet or tap to post to Facebook. And it's like the iOS 5 Twitter dialog, just it's built into notification center to make it that much quicker to tweet and post. And that extends Facebook integration even further. Next up, there's shared photo streams, which allows you to share some of the photos either in your photo stream or stored on your iOS device to other users. You can see the dialogue right here. So it's an easy way to share pictures with friends and you can also share the links of your special online photo streams to Facebook, Twitter, and the usual suspects. Turning to mail, there's not that much difference, but there's a new VIP folder which lets you add certain people to have a special inbox just for specific people and you also have special alerts. Now there's um, the also the ability to insert photos or videos with this special new function added into mail. There's also a new share window which you can see here and it's system wide and it replaces the text of iOS 5 with actual icons to let you know I guess a little bit easier what you are sharing. In Safari there's new iCloud tabs which lets you pick up and resume tabs from your iPad, iPhone, and OS X line. Here's the share window again and that's it for really Safari. Big changes come to Apple's three digital stores the App Store, iTunes Store, and iBook Store. We'll begin with App Store and as you can tell right here there's more apps well not necessarily more apps but instead of a list view it's easier to view the app since they're scrollable left to right and it's so much more touchable and when you're actually in a different app page you can see three new tabs for details and that includes Facebook integrations and a better way to view related apps and then there's all the details and stuff related to update history and developers other games or apps the biggest new feature beyond design is the ability to install an app without leaving the app store so then you can install another and another and before you have to jump in and out of the app store each time you want to install something and that's true for all three stores. Now we're going to go over the iTunes store. It has a similar design methodology just for music, movies, and TV shows. And Apple's also adopted a black theme for the top and bottom bars. And it's a lot slicker overall design for all three different stores. And it should actually help Apple make more digital sales. Now we're finally over to the iBook store. And those are the three new stores. Hope you like them because they're coming to iOS 6 whether you like them or not. Now there's uh, the music on the iPhone. The music app has been redesigned to look closer to the iPad music app and that includes the whole silver stylings. And there's also updates to iTunes Match so now it actually streams. Previously when you played a song it downloaded with playing it. Now when you play a song it's not actually downloaded to your device. And uh, we confirm this by turning off iTunes Match after playing like five songs, coming back and seeing that the iPod folder no longer had any music, as you can see right here. Before there would be those five music files we played. Camera app, we checked it just to see if there's anything new. There's not, and uh, the same goes for another a number of apps like Notes and Reminders and YouTube and Video. So we won't even cover those. And then there's Game Center, the only slight adjustment here is that there's a contact and Facebook integration as well as brand new challenges which uh, aren't quite developed yet because developers actually have to take them and implement them into their games to get some use out of it. So that's iOS 6 on the iPhone. We'll have another video of the iPad version and we found about all that's coming new and it's coming this fall. Hope you enjoyed.